Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So today I'm sitting down to do a first impression of the brand new Carewise Invisible Touch Liquid Foundation. And the minute I saw this launch, I was like, I have to try this. It's just very interesting to me. I feel like Carewise hadn't really expanded their line that much over a couple of years. And then all of a sudden recently, it's just like their line is totally expanded. Not sure exactly what's going on there, but I am really interested. Um, I did pick this up in the shade Lightness, which is the exact same shade that I have in their cream foundation. I looked at the swatches online on Kara Weiss's website, and they also have like a little matching guide. And of course, they're willing to help shade match you if you send in your pictures. However, when I was looking at this, this seemed like it would be the best shade for me because it is described as being fair with neutral undertones. There was one other shade that I think was like technically lighter than this one, but it looked really pink in the swatches. And I have come to realize that I really don't have pink undertones. So I felt like this was the best shot of having a good match for me. Um, I often like to review products, but I feel like this one has gotten so much hype and excitement around it that I wanted to be able to sit down and share with you my first impression of playing with it. I'm also going to be doing a wear test. I wanted it to be a bit longer of a wear test, but um, I'm actually filming this on Sunday. I typically film on the weekends. Sometimes I film late in the evenings during the week, but typically I film during the weekends. This actually arrived today um, on a Sunday, which is surprising but it arrived a little bit later. And by the time I'm now sitting down to film, it is approximately three o'clock, but I will be wearing this until I go to bed tonight. I will give you an update before I go to bed. So this foundation, it comes in this beautiful glass ball. It's like an asymmetric um, shape. It's, um, you can see actually the shape of the bottle better by holding it up this way. It does have a dropper. Um, you can buy like a little cap to go on top of the dropper on the Carowise website. But it was like another like $40, I think. And I was like, I do not want to pay that much money for just like a little cap to look pretty and sit on top of this. If that is what you are about, you're welcome to do that. But um, I was not sent this. I bought this with my own money. And it was actually a relatively reasonably priced foundation. I was surprised. I thought when this came out, I was going to be like, oh no, it's going to be like $60, $70 foundation. It actually was only $48. I know I say only, but compared to a lot of clean beauty foundations, that's actually where a lot of them sit in terms of price. So I thought it was actually fairly reasonable. And there are 24 shades, which could be better. It could be worse. But I will say about the shade range that I feel like most of the shades just from looking at the swatches are more in the like light to medium category. They definitely can use a wider variety of shades in the deep range, but that's something I've noticed and many other people have noticed with Care Weiss for a long time is it's definitely missing like the range of shades on the deeper end of the foundation shade range. So I will give that disclaimer. I could find a shade that I think will work pretty well for me, but it definitely is biased towards the lighter shades. Um, so let's go ahead and try this out. I have not tried this. I've not swatched it. Like I have no idea what we're dealing with here. It did say to shake. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to pump it up and down in the, um, dropper just to make sure it's well mixed there as well. All right. So let's see here. Okay. It's fairly liquidy. I was expecting that. Um, let's see what the shade looks like. I would say for shade match, um, that looks pretty good to me. I mean, I could honestly probably use a little bit lighter of a shade, but well, we all know I have very fair porcelain skin. I'm very used to working with shades that are a smidge deeper than what I typically would like. Um, let's see, let me try my hand on this side here and see how this is working. Okay, this is blending in really nicely with my hand. Um, I would say, honestly, this kind of reminds me a bit in terms of formula to the Kosas 10, or not the 10 second, but the Kosas Tinted Oil Foundation. Um, it kind of is a very like lightweight, um, very nourishing foundation and it feels just super light. I mean, it is supposed to be a lightweight foundation, so I'm not at all surprised by that. And it is blending into my skin very nicely. I actually like applying some of my hands. I thought I was gonna use a brush because I, typically use a brush. If you're used to watching my channel, you know that I typically like the brush. If you're 
new here, welcome. Uh, be sure to subscribe, click the bell button so you're notified, and come follow me on Instagram at Naturally Beautiful Girl. But yeah, this is blending into my skin really, really beautifully. Um, it's not a super high coverage foundation, as you can see, but it's definitely helping to even out my skin tone and it definitely is covering up the redness. Um, I have a little bit of redness, especially on my nose, but this is looking really, really beautiful. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit more. This is what the dropper looks like, by the way. I wonder if this is going to get messy. The Ilia, um, this one here, the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 just tends to get really messy. I find dropper products can have a tendency to just get really messy on you. So I'm curious if that will happen with this one. Um, we will obviously find out with additional usage, but it, you can't really tell when you're first trying it out. So on first impressions of applying it, I love it. Um, it just sunk into my skin really nicely. It gave a very nice skin-like finish. It is a little bit radiant, but not too bad. Like I don't feel like my face is like an oil slick. Um, that's why I said it reminded me of like the Kosas um, Tinted Oil Foundation because that one is definitely a, an oil foundation, but it doesn't feel slippery. It doesn't feel overly dewy on me. I do have very, very oily skin. So I'm really curious to see how this wears on me throughout the day, especially as my face just naturally gets more oily. I am going to set this with my Cloven Hello uh, Pressed Powder Foundation. That's how I set all my foundations and I wanna be consistent and do that with this one as well. So we can really see how it wears, how it performs. The main things I look for in a foundation are A, how does it look on first application, which this one is very good. I will say the shade definitely oxidized a little bit on me. Um, it got kind of deeper as I was applying it. I think it, the shade match itself looks pretty good. Would I have preferred this to be just like a smidge lighter in shade? Yes, but I definitely know that going for the other shade that had uh, more of a cool undertone would not have worked because it would have looked pink and that would have been worse. Um, I just, I can make this work, but I just have to make sure I kind of blend onto my neck a little bit. And I really like how it's just like not sitting on my skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. Um, sorry if I keep looking over here, my mirror is over here. Um, but I really just like how it's, it's, it just looks really, really natural. Um, so far I'm very, very, very impressed. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm not going to be wearing a ton of makeup today. I'm just going to be sitting around the house. Not sitting, actually. I have a lot of cooking I need to do, so I'm gonna be mainly cooking today, but I just wanna put on, not exactly a full, full face, but more makeup so we can kind of see how this plays overall. Um, I will do that. I'll jump back in and kind of show you where we're at, and then I will do some check-ins throughout the rest of the day. All right, so I'm back. I have finished my makeup. As you can tell, it's a pretty minimal makeup day for me. I, like I said, I'm just staying at home. I didn't feel like doing a full face. I did go ahead and set everything with my Cloven Hallow Pressed Powder Foundation. And honestly, I was really impressed. I used the powder foundation basically as a setting powder and I felt like it just went on top of this really nicely and set everything in place. It didn't get cakey, like it just still looks really nice. I have a very nice kind of glow to my skin, but it's not anything oily or crazy. And I feel like it really doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. Like I feel like, I you know, if I were to run into somebody and they were to look at me um, and if I were to ask them if I were wearing foundation, they wouldn't really know. And I love that about this. Also, um, I did go ahead and use a kind of like liquid blush product. I've been trying out this one here from Bloom Effects. I first tried this in my video that I posted right before this one. I'll link it up above. It's where I did a full face of um, clean beauty products from a war's best of beauty list. It was a really fun video. If you want to see my thoughts on this, you can check that video out. Um, but I did put this on top and I was really impressed because sometimes when you put a cream or liquid product on top of a foundation, it can kind of pick up and move around. And I was a little, and I wanted to put that to the test with this product here today because um, when deciding whether to go with a powder or a um, like cream or liquid product, I went with a like cream liquid blush because I wanted to see 
if this foundation move around since it was more of a like hydrating kind of like oily not oil but like an oil foundation in a way and I felt like it didn't it just stayed in place really well it looks really nice but I still was able to get the blush on um so so far I am loving it um it is 320 it took me about 15 to 20 minutes to put on the rest of my makeup so I will keep you guys updated as the day goes on but so far I'm really loving this really impressed um let me know what you think so far but I think at least in person it looks good. Hopefully it also looks good on camera. Um, but let me know what you think and I will check back in with you later. All right, so I'm back to check in. It is now 6.40, so it's been about three, a little over three hours I've been wearing the foundation. I haven't touched up at all. I haven't blotted. I haven't added any more face powder. I haven't done anything. I think it's looking really good. Um, it's definitely glowy. Like I said, I do have oily skin and this is a kind of more glowy, dewy foundation. However, what I'm looking for is it's not breaking apart at all. That's my main concern. And it still just looks really nice. Like my skin looks glowy, you know, looks a little like oily, dewy, however you want to describe it. But it's not looking like an oil slick. Things aren't like sliding around, moving apart, like breaking apart. It still looks like I'm not really wearing foundation, which is a really awesome sign. It's only been three hours. I probably will go to bed around 10 tonight. So I'll give it, I'll do my final check-in around like shortly before 10. It's not the longest wear test, but it will give us six hours of wear. I feel like with having such oily skin, it kind of accelerates wear tests because I really do put foundations through quite a bit. Also for reference, in the three hours since you last saw me, I was doing a bunch of cooking. Um, so I was over the stove, you know, things are bubbling, steaming, like, you know, I, I wasn't just like sitting on the couch watching YouTube. Um, so I have been pretty active, you know, bustling around doing various things around the house and it's still looking great. Um, yeah, I the only thing is it's worn off around my nose a little bit but I've had to blow my nose a few times. When I blow my nose, like any foundation is gonna come off. So it's, it's pretty par for the course, but overall I have to say I am really impressed and I will check in with you. Uh, it'll be about three hours for me, but for you, it'll be just a couple seconds. All right, so I'm back from my final check-in. It is now 9.52, so nearly 10 o'clock. So I've definitely had this foundation on for over six hours at this point. And, um, you know what? I definitely look more dewy than the last time I checked in. As you can see, I have a little bit more of a glow going on, but I'm looking at my mirror right here. And when I actually look at the foundation, it still is looking really good. Like it's not breaking apart. It's not moving around. It still just looks really nice. And honestly, by the six hour mark, if it were to start breaking apart or moving around, I would see it by now. So I have to say I am still really impressed. Um, I, I'm going to put on makeup tomorrow um, because I have some Zoom calls and I will definitely be wearing this foundation again. I will keep testing it out and trying it out for you guys and keep you guys updated. But so far, I am really impressed. I hope you found this wear test to be helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like seeing wear tests or not. Um, I imagine they probably are helpful, especially if you have a skin type similar to mine, which is uh, oily skin. Um, but yeah, I, I really am liking this. I just, it feels like I have nothing on, which feels great. And that's what I want my foundation to feel like. And it really looks like my skin, which is also what I want my foundation to look like. Um, but it's definitely giving me a bit of coverage. I forgot to mention earlier that I do have a few, um, spots. They're not active breakouts, but like breakouts that are healing and are still a little bit discolored. And I had to go in with a little bit of extra concealer to conceal those. Unless it's a really full coverage foundation, I pretty much have to do that with most foundations. Um, so it's not, so this one is not a full coverage foundation, but I still am really happy with the level of coverage that it has. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're going to try out this foundation, if you're curious about it. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you're notified of when I post new videos. And also come follow me on Instagram. I'm at naturally beautiful cat there. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.